Chris, the Hurons are back with another MLS Explanation video. That's right, another one. We already dropped the MLS Explained Rules. We already also dropped the DP and the MLS Salaries videos, which you can be able to check out in our archives, so don't forget that. And today, we're covering general allocation money. Chris, what do you know about, about GAM? So when we're talking about GAM, we're talking about general allocation money. Now, each team receives... Basically, it's an annual allotment, and for 2023, it's $1,900,000. Now, this GAM, it's tradable, and it's actually given to you by the league, but it's really used to buy down contracts. So let's just say that Inter-Miami wants to get a player like Sergio Busquets, and they need to open up a DP spot for him because he's going to require more than what the maximum salary is. So we're going to have to figure out how to be able to open up that DP spot for him, Danny. So right now, for example, Inter-Miami has a player that's holding a DP spot, which is Gregory. So what we could do is take some of that $1,900,000 that we have in GAM money, and we can be able to use it to buy down the contract. So what we're doing is we're taking some of that GAM money that was given to us by the league, and we pay the difference. And in this case... If you just pay $73,750 in GAM towards Gregory's contract, he'll still get paid the $725,000, but he won't be considered a DP player. So you were able to open up that DP spot for someone like Sergio Busquets. So let's go ahead and simplify it. Let's call this Salary GAM Edition 101 for dummies like me. Chris, let's go back to that team that you had. And you have a salary cap of $100. You only have three DP spots, though, right? Those are those three good players that you got to pay a lot of money for. And they gave you $20 in GAM. But all of a sudden, this player named Busquets goes and knocks on your door and says, hey, I want to play for your team. But you say, oh, no, I don't have any more DP spots available. Now you got to figure out what to do. Now, remember that your max salary for your team is $12. Once it goes over $12, you're technically using a DP spot. So this is where GAM comes into play. You take $2 of GAM. You can take $3. You can take as much as you want. It doesn't really matter. But as long as you get him under that $12 threshold. So this player, Gregory, that's getting paid $14, you take $2 out of your GAM money and you pay him down so that now he's only getting paid $12. Remember, that is the max salary. Once you pay his contract down, he is no longer considered a DP player. So now you have that DP slot open so that now you can go ahead and bring in a Busquets or a player of higher caliber that needs a DP spot so that you can pay them more money. Now, Batter fans, if you have any other questions, any sort of comments, go ahead and leave it down in the comment section. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to the podcast. Check us out on Instagram, on Twitter, and don't forget to check out our store, batterfans.com. That's where you're going to be able to find unique apparel, whether it's Inter-Miami, whether it's Messi. Go ahead and check it out. There's a lot of great stuff there. And until next time, guys, thank you for checking out the Battered Herons, and we'll see you next time.